Welcome back to Box of Chocolates Wednesdays. This is the second and final installment on Inside the Pastor Study about how sermons are prepared. I don't know if you found last week's interesting about the big picture. We all find our own careers more interesting than other people, I'm sure. But I gave you sort of the big picture of how um, a sermon plan is put together and how um, I evaluate what topics need to be brought up and so forth. Well, this week we talk about sort of the microcosm of the actual week of preparation for a given sermon, okay? Um, let's take, for example, back earlier in the summer in June when we were doing mental health awareness. Now, the topic that was written down was something like... Uh, Mental Health Awareness Month, Hope in Christ. And then I think I had a Psalm and I had Acts 16 as two texts. So we've come to the week of preparation for that sermon. And that sermon was probably prepared in early April. Yeah, probably early April. I'm usually about six or eight weeks ahead. And so I look down at the text and it says Acts 16. And so I read over that text and that's a lively text that has so much in it that we've neglected over the years. And you have the scene at the end of there where you have this suicide intervention. This uh, jailer uh, is willing to kill himself because he thinks that Paul and all the other prisoners are gone. And yet Paul says, hold on now, don't do that. We're all still here. You know, we're here, for, we haven't abandoned you. You're here, we're here. And then there is this line at the end where it says, and salvation has come to this house today. And I think that we read that from 20 centuries later and all the theology that's been built since then and see that that say, well, the family got saved. Well, think about it from their perspective. What they were going through that day was that if she had lost, if the wife had lost her husband, she's nothing. She... Every woman in that society and culture had to be a mother or they had to be a wife or they had to be a daughter. If you lose your husband, you're destitute. You're out on the street again because you don't have any rights to property. And so when it says salvation comes to this house, it really meant in the fullest sense that this house would have been destroyed with this death. And so you read that sort of material, you read some commentaries, and then as I was preparing that message, you also have to have some facts and figures about mental health and the mental health issues that we have around us. And so I chose as a method, and there are about four different methods you could choose, I chose as a method the following method. First step is set the stage, <clears throat> get the characters involved, Put the text on the table, talk a little bit about the text. Second is to create the conflict, uh, reveal the conflict, show how the conflict is happening. And that's where you have your facts and your figures. And you talk a little bit about people who struggle with mental health. And maybe even in our case, you cite an example or two of some of the shootings that we've had and other things that are in the paper all the time about mental health issues. But the third stage of this method is at the end, you're going to resolve it. You're going to resolve it by bringing that crisis back into relationship with that text. And then you're going to find the hope that we find in Christ. And so you're wrapping it up with this uh, resolution of the crisis by finding hope in Christ. Now, that's sort of the three stages in that method. Now, like I said, there are four different methods that I typically choose when I design a sermon. I probably choose two of the four more frequently than the other two. As I wrap this up, just a, a word. I typically begin with a topic, all right, an idea. And then shortly behind that is a text that goes with it. There are plenty of people uh, who write sermons beginning with a text. And there's nothing wrong with either style. Don't frown on people if they begin with the text. And they, they feel deeply they need to preach through the book of Romans or that they need to, you know, preach the David material. All right, they just start with a text. All right, that's a little bit different than me, 
but yeah, they are really going to have to deal with the ideas and the, the themes that are inside of that text. Well, that's a little bit of a tour, if you will, of what goes on here. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, pull me aside and ask me about them. So you got the big picture last week, the microcosm this week. And so, you know, I don't know that we need to cover another week, but we might need to talk a little bit about how that preparation comes in hand that week. You know, I told you that was written about six weeks ahead of time. I might want to talk a little bit about how the preparation in the final week comes about, but I'll do that next time, if at all. Okay. Bye now.